minus 3 hours and 17 minutes until liftoff of the Space Launch System. That's L minus 3 hours and 47 minutes. We have a half hour hold that we're going to be uh, going into at the end of, uh, towards the end of the countdown. I want to give you an update now. Uh, the launch team is tracking um, an intermittent leak uh, on the cord stage replenish valve. This is on the hydrogen side. The location is at the base of the mobile launcher. Uh, the team reporting uh, to the NASA test director, it's going in and out of, uh, of leak measurement. Momentarily, it, spoke to, uh, it spiked to 1.5%, but then came back down and they continued to monitor it. Going over 1% is the violation. It was only there for a short period of time, came back down. It's 1% is the violation, Mark, as I understand from the engineers, because this is an open air sensor. Different from the closed volume sensors on the previous uh, leaks, if you may recall from um, the previous launch attempts. So the team is monitoring it. If it were to continue to degrade, it would put uh, the upper stage LH2 uh, into stop flow. It's back down at the moment into the 0.2 range. And so uh, again, the team just continues to monitor, but they have advised uh, launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson that there's not a lot they can do from here if it were to go back up above 1%, um, they would have to send the red crew into the pad. Now that's the team that is specifically trained to go into the launch pad with a tanked rocket and uh, do work. But we're not there yet, I want to emphasize, not there yet. Again, the team's monitoring this. Of course, we'll keep you updated. Percentage-wise, let's talk about the upper stage. We are at 60% um, filled for the liquid hydrogen upper stage. For liquid oxygen, we're almost filled, currently at 92%. Again, upper stage, 60% for liquid hydrogen and 92% liquid oxygen. We're in fast fill for liquid hydrogen and topping for LO2. Quick look at the core stage, just to review. We can put up a graphic that'll give you a check on that. Core stage reached its replenish mark, which means fully tanked and filled at 7.45 p.m. Eastern time. And there you see the graphic, 100% on both tanks. The core stage, of course, three quarters of a million gallons of super chilled propellants. And of course, we'll continue to track the countdown. This is Artemis Launch Control. Okay, the NASA test director has uh, advised that they are now putting a plan into work to send the red crew uh, into the pad. Again, the uh, NASA test director uh, putting together a plan to send the red crew into Launch Complex 39B and the mobile launcher area. Discussion uh, is about an intermittent leak on the upper stage. I'm sorry, intermittent leak uh, for the core stage replenish valve, which is inside uh, the mobile launcher. Now it's in the planning stages, so they are not going out there yet. But again, uh, the team being mobilized. The red crew uh, operates out of uh, a building about four miles away from the launch pad. Discussion is around torquing down the packing nuts at the base of the ML. Uh, the leak has uh, increased.
And so the team uh, currently taking uh, planning action uh, to send that red crew team in. Of course, uh, we'll keep you updated on the latest. This is Artemis Launch Control.